University of Oregon employee on leave after telling Trump voters jump off a effing bridge. You can literally go f if you voted for Donald Trump. If you are so sad about your groceries being expensive, get a better paying job. Do better in life. Get a education. Do something because you are f***ing stupid. And I hope you go jump off of a f bridge. It's only one term. What are you crying about? You act like they crowned him king or something. You act like when he gets in office, he's going to put his face on Rushmore. Four years is not a very long time at all. Think about it. In two years, his own party is going to be looking past him and trying to figure out who's going to be the next person in line to step up as a presidential candidate. But there is one constant that no matter who sits in the White House, you're going to have to get up in the morning, put your pants on one leg at a time, take your ass out there and be a productive member of society. And you can only hope that every president that comes in leaves the country just a little bit better off than it was before they got there. On Thursday, a Greek life administrator, he's in charge of fraternities and sororities at the University of Oregon. Go Ducks is on leave after posting an offensive reaction to the results of the election. It's only one term. Suck it up, buttercup. You can literally go F yourself if you voted for Donald Trump. If you are so sad about your groceries being expensive, get a better effing paying job. Do better for yourself. Get an effing education because you're effing stupid and i hope you go jump off a of effing bridge <laughs> The Ducks Fraternity and Sorority Life Assistant Director Leonard Serrato posted that rant mocking Trump supporters on his Instagram story. He has since been placed on paid administrative leave and the video is no longer online. Let me see if I'm understanding this correctly here. He called himself dunking on people who voted for Trump because they figured that a vote for him would put them in a better position to feed their families and support their families, which is probably the best or only only reason to vote for any president, Republican or Democrat. Now I got a question. How many kids in these fraternities and sororities that he's overseeing have parents that are blue collar workers trying to put their kids through school that voted for Trump for the same exact reason that he dunked on them for? The university was quick to condemn the comments, issuing a statement saying it, quote, finds these statements made in the video abhorrent and not in alignment with our values or mission. We opened an investigation and are reviewing the matter under university policies and the individual's role as a public employee. As a public university, we take our duty seriously to provide an environment that welcomes diversity of thought and respect in alignment with our education mission. Is this what people want? Is this what the American people really want to be able to whine like a bunch of pussy children that didn't get their way whenever their guy doesn't win, whenever their girl doesn't win, want to set fire to ballot boxes, send threats? Just a couple days ago, three women in Miami were shot over a political discussion. A political discussion? Do you really want to have consequences hanging over your head that far exceed any one president's term? Is that what you really want. It's also gotten national attention with Donald Trump Jr. responding to a repost of the video saying it's disgusting but not surprising that an employee at a state university would speak this way about more than half of the country. This is what I found particularly interesting about this article. Previously, Serato has been a public speaker teaching students the downfalls of hazing culture as well as a campus advisor for fraternity and sorority life at Sonoma State. He also served as an assistant director of sorority and fraternity life at Indiana University. In 2014, Serato spent three months in jail after bringing alcohol to an underage party at Fresno State where another student died in a fraternity hazing incident. Serato was an undergrad at the time of that 2012 incident. There you have it, kids. Leonard Serato. Tell me what you think.